It's your boy Steph here. Today I'm bringing you guys brand new commentary. Just uh, just to touch up on a couple things. Uh, this commentary will be really centered about designers and leading teams and you know the reputation type of uh, thing that goes on in the community and just a couple different topics that I want to talk about. So first things first, you guys are gonna be noticing that in the background it's not really Call of Duty that's behind my gameplay. It's really I'm um, playing Clash on Destiny, which is Crucible, which is player versus player, or whatever you want to you know, think about it, but it's I'm playing Destiny in the background, it's a pretty good gameplay, I think I'm at 25 and 8, which is pretty good for a uh, for a Destiny gameplay, because, you know, it's not like Call of Duty, but I'm rambling. Um, I just really wanted to make a commentary, because I haven't really made a commentary in a while, and uh, I just felt that I wanted to make one to... Uh, just touch up on a couple things, so... <clears throat> First thing I want to talk about is the stigma that has been placed upon uh, the designers in the community, or the quote-unquote community as we, we refer to. Basically, the stigma is that designers is what all they're good for. They're, they're not good for leading teams, um, that they should just stick... Uh, they shouldn't stick their nose where it doesn't belong, and just all that stuff. I just really want to note one thing, which is going to be the center topic about this entire communi uh, community, this entire commentary, at least for this section, is, I mean, people really want to make the stigma that designers don't know what they're doing when it comes to, like, leading teams and such, but we all started doing the same thing in this community, and that's being a player. I was a player for about four years, uh, you know, hitting clips, joining teams as a player, uh, I've led teams, of course, if you guys know that. I've led a lot of teams in the past. Um, and one thing, I, I don't want to make this seem like this is centered around me because it's not. I want to talk about the community as a whole and the, the stigma that um, leaders of teams have against designers. And, you know, I'm not saying this is coming from Psycho. I'm just saying this is a, you know, entirety. And sorry that you guys hear my Skype in the background. It's going crazy. But, um... Basically, like I said, this entire thing is, uh, it's really corrupt. I, I, I really feel that way because, you know, a lot of people in this community started off being a player and, you know, hitting clips and producing episodes and et cetera, et cetera. And then they decided to move on to something that's more creative, like editing, designing, content creating and stuff like that. We all started from the same roots, guys. You, you really can't um think that just because a person is a... GFX that they have no experience in any other thing which is completely not the case I know how to lead Call of Duty teams I know how to hit clips I know how to design I know how to edit I know how to produce commentaries in the right format I, I can do you know a lot of things and just because I am a designer I get branded as broken hardware when it comes to other things and I just feel that that is really unjust and it's just you know it's not fair. It's really not fair because people don't give designers, you know, that, like, how do I say it? People don't give designers that opportunity to really show how they really are because designers can truly bring in the most creative ideas to teams because, I mean, as a designer, you have to have a very creative mind right off the bat. I mean, you can't just be a designer and put two words on a, you know, on a banner and, and think it's, you know, a work of art. It's a Michelangelo piece of art. It's not. You gotta have some type of creativity to your uh, what you are doing into your work, and I just feel that you know this entire stigma that designers don't know what the hell they're doing is kind of sad, to be honest. Because I mean, designers, editors, and content creators are the ones that make a big portion of this community. I mean, how how are Phase and Dare and you know Psycho, Soar, all these big teams, you know, Saw L7. How are they going to manage without a designs team, without editors team? It's just going to be clips. It's just going to be app clips being uploaded to the channel with no uh, no editing whatsoever. So I mean, people need to really think about that when they you know derogatize designers, editors, content creators, and stuff like that, because we're the ones that are supplying the creativity to these big channels. I mean, would you rather see a team that's producing good content and has a very visually appealing channel 
with some great artwork, you know, to go with everything. Overlays, thumbnails, banners, AVIs. Every player has everything that they need. Or would you rather just be watching a channel that has no visual appearance to it at all? It's just blank. You know, initially you're going to pick the one that has more creativity to it. And this is, this is the point that I'm getting at. People feel that just because we're designers doesn't mean that, you know, you don't know how to lead a team well. For example, Sor Crude, who has been lead designer for Sor for at least, I think, five or six months. Uh, I'm sorry if I get the number wrong, Crude. But now he's co-leader of Sor. And that is just a big milestone for a designer. Psycho uh, Arlaw. Arlaw is a designer. He's the leader of Team Psycho. My friend Core. I'm really good friends of mine. Uh, Set Core. Now he's the co-leader of uh, Set. Like, this community is revolved around the same ideals that because you're not a player doesn't mean you don't know how to lead teams. And I, I'm sorry, but <laughs> that is just idiotic and it's just moronic at this point because... How, how old is this community now? At least six years. Going around seven years. And we're still stuck on that mentality that, you know, this is the way that we run. If you're not a player, you don't know how to do shit. And I, I'm sorry, but if this is the way that we're going, this community's not going to end up any... <laughs> it's going to end up imploding. That's what's going to happen. This community is about to implode on itself. And, you know... I'm just a designer. I don't have any say in it because I'm just a modern day slave. Because my words are worthless in the higher up's eyes. This entire commentary might be irrelevant to one of those leaders thinking, oh, he's just a designer, he's ranting. I mean, you think what you want, man, personally, because, like I said, this community is on a downfall if this is the mentality that we have. And, you know, I, I, I don't want to keep continuing on this topic because I have like two minutes left in this uh, gameplay, so. I just want to get on to my other topic, and that's reputation. <sighs> I'm sorry if you guys hear construction in the background, by the way. They're doing construction right outside my house, so. Reputation. It's a nice little word right there, you know. Reputation. It is probably the most broken system I have ever been a part of in this community, quote-unquote community, because... Just because I associate myself with Psycho, I get labeled as broken hardware. Because I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm the best designer, but I'm sure as hell not an amateur. Because this is honestly a broken fucking system. Because people don't give teams like Psycho a chance. The same chance that Dare L7 and Saw and um Dare L7, Era, Saw, all those teams have restarted before. Not so sure about Saul, but I know Daryl7 and Era have restarted. Definitely, they've all started on new channels. And they don't give Psycho the same chance that those teams had. Not going to say that they're, you know, amazing teams. I mean, of course, they're they're really good teams and stuff. I'm not saying Psycho is the best team there, but the fact that people don't give these teams an opportunity to try to regain their, you know, their status in this community is honestly just... <sighs> it's mind-boggling. Especially because these people that want to bring in this shit-talking cycle banter, repeat, banter, repeat, banter, repeat, so on and so forth. They're just the big dudes in like Synergy, Saw, L7. These guys are the ones that are making the endless cycle of just non-stop hate. And the way that this is being run, this is basically, you know, this is the way that the community is being run right now. And it's honestly saddening. But since I don't have tens of, tens of thousands of mindless drones who worship Noners religiously called followers, my opinion is worthless. So, hope this uh, this commentary caught some a uh, couple people's eyes. Um, I'm sorry there was more of a rant than actual commentary, but you know, I just had to get my points across. I had a lot of things I had to speak of, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. It's been your boy Steph. I will see you guys in the next commentary.